hey girl hey so i know it's been a minute since i've been on here but guys i have been super duper busy um last week i had a huge huge event i did a basketball tournament um event in my local city and it was the ciaa basketball tournament my client was coca-cola so i had to devote 200 percent to them and i just didn't have time to lollygag and be on the camera and stuff like that because you know how it is when you're a small business and you're working with a big corporation you gotta give it your all you gotta show out and show out so had that and then on top of that me and mr taylor have to move so we've been house hunting and things like that and i've been trying to do little teeny bit of packing here and there i actually just started packing this week but nonetheless it is friday and it is my first day that i actually had to woosai and i wanted to um treat myself so i'm sitting here i'm doing myself a seafood seafood boil um that i'm making myself and i spent just as much on the products to make myself that it would have been if i would have went to the store and purchased one nonetheless that's what i'm doing and then i decided to make myself a little cocktail letting kelly in um so i purchased this new drink because it's stated no sugar no calories now i really like the white claw which is 100 calories and i think it's only like um totally i think it's like three net carbs for one can well i purchased this fly embro embry and this is a pineapple chili and i thought this would be great with the seafood boil first and foremost this shit stinks okay so it states zero sugar zero carbs see that this smells like throw up. It's disgusting. I can't even get past the smell. But I had already mixed it in my mixed drink before I smelled it. It's strong as hell. It says it has 6.8% alcohol. I've taken two sips and I'm a little tipsy. But I cannot get past the smell. And I've been mixing so much stuff with it to try to give it a better smell or a better taste. Y'all, I got the whole mixing thing. I got a whole full cup because... I can't, I can't get past it guys. I don't know. And I bought a whole six pack. Mm, thinking it was going to be better for, you know, my diet. But, um, got my seafood boil going. I'm about to make me a butter sauce. And I'm using the, um, Smart Balance Butter Olive Oil, which is 60 calories, one tablespoon, um, no carbs and no sugar. So this is the butter I'm using to make my butter sauce. Um, I purchased a seafood boil bag and then um bought some additional seafood to go in mines and it came with a little seasoning pack usually i make my butter sauce myself on my own seasoning but i'm gonna use their seasoning pack and we're gonna see how it tastes i got my pan i'm gonna be home by myself my son is out he actually leaves next week for basic training so this week he's hanging out with his girlfriend well tonight he's hanging out with his girlfriend tomorrow he has to go to the base to start his basic training and just get all of the information for when he deployed next weekend um so he just wanted to hang out with his girlfriend tonight mrs taylor of course you guys know works at nighttime so it's just me and kelly in the house tonight and i'm like i want to have myself a nice drink and i want to have me a good meal so i'm doing a seafood boy let me get on to this um butter sauce and um pray for me in this drink guys i'm gonna come back i'm gonna tell you i'm scared to taste it i'm gonna come back and tell y'all like don't mess my night up come on i've been working like crazy for the last two weeks i need this woosa break right <sighs> okay okay let me try to make this butter sauce and i'll be right back okay all right all right guys so i showed you a sample of the crab bowl i got crab legs shrimp mussels sausage corn boiled eggs and potatoes y'all know god that going well i am not going to eat 25 percent of this i probably eat one crab leg a few shrimp and a few mussels i'm definitely gonna eat a boiled egg but my intentions when i purchased this was to split this with my son and then once i started cooking he just told me he was going out so nonetheless i'm gonna eat what i can eat i'm gonna enjoy myself i'm about to watch 355 on um peacock and um the rest of it i'll save for him so yeah only made a small amount of butter sauce because i ain't want to use all my butter so yep 
and the butter sauce is banging. Let me know if you make your own seafood, uh, seafood bowls at home or if you just get them from the actual store. These mussels are good. Or if you only um, buy them from the store. So, yeah. And look how small these little shrimp is. Now, if I was making this for real, for real, by myself, if I wouldn't have bought the kit, the kit only came with the mussels and the shrimp, I would have got bigger shrimp than this from the market. But I was trying to save money and still spend a lot. No, no, no. I'm going to eat my food, watch some TV, and um, I'll pick y'all stuff up a little bit. I'm going to try my best to drink this drink and see if I can get a little saucy, watch some TV, and um, I'll be back. So, guys, I ate a little bit. Um, I'm going to show y'all what I ate. I ate a little bit, guys. Still got this whole full cup. I feel so angry that I really wanted me a good cocktail and I made that mess. Wasted alcohol. Look at look at look at the baby. Wanting all attention. But let me show you guys. Still full. So I'm gonna save that for Cortez to eat when he come home because I can't eat it. And I'm gonna take her upstairs so she can um, get in the bed for the night. She just came from outside. Now she wants some attention. So let me put my trash in the trash and um, clean up the kitchen. I got, you know, clean up the kitchen from cooking. And um, then it is, it's only seven o'clock. She usually go to sleep around 8.30. You ready to get in the bed? Put that lip down. What I tell you about raising your lip when you can't get your way? Put that lip down. We don't have attitudes in this house. Thank you. So she's standing here. Okay, so first and foremost, hold on, let me see if I can turn some light on. How is that? That's a little bit better. First and foremost, um, my closet is a mess. What is new? But for two, for a couple of reasons. One, um, last week I was literally just taking clothes and I was like gone because I was so busy with my event. Um, and then I just haven't had a chance to clean up. I did wash clothes yesterday. So I got my laundry basket right here sitting there i got some hauls i need to do for you guys this right here is um a birthday present for my mother-in-law she um said she liked my black tote bag that i like that i carry a lot so i purchased her one um her birthday is coming up and i got a shein try on haul that i need to do I am actually waiting for another box from Shein. So, I got a lot of stuff. Sitting over there. I got... I got a Sephora. And... And an Ulta. And guys, this is stuff that I've been purchasing over the last month and I'm gonna say month and a half. I'm gonna say, yeah, like a well, definitely a month for sure. But I just been so busy, I haven't had a chance to review, haul it, and or put it away, which I need to because I need to just basically pack it all up. Um, I'm probably gonna start doing a series on my channel. I probably I probably should start doing this. Um, my closet is too dirty for me to do it right now. But I probably need to start doing it tomorrow because I need to pack, right? So I probably I wanna start a I wanna do a declutter to kind of get rid of some makeup. So as I'm packing, you know, I'm just, I'm getting rid of some. So, yeah. I went to H&M and I went to Target and pick up some things that I haven't put away yet. Where's that H&M stuff? It's all in here. I got these little cute um, half sweaters. It was taking me back to the um, late 90s, early 2000s, that clueless era where you get the little half sweaters and you wear long um, button up shirts. So I got um, a cream one from H&M. I got a lavender one because you can definitely wear these still in the springtime. And I got this powder, this baby blue. And I got a white button up. And I got a brown button up but I already wore it and I just actually washed it. So I got the brown button up. I actually wore the brown button up with the um, 
with the cream sweater last week so yeah got that from um h&m i just got one of the um black designers t-shirt black history month t-shirt i got this one and uh, do i say who the artist is it just say south african based um illuminate um oh wait a minute it does say okay it's a bridge form bridge forth farm i guess that is the group that actually created this it's like it's four guys oh, let me see if you can see this let's see if i turn up can you see so yeah i thought this was really cute so i got that and let me see if it's a receipt in this bag find my receipt because I also purchased this top that was $25 and I don't like it um it's too big it's like baggy on me I don't like it but I thought it was cute but it looked like a maternity top so it's super big but it's just a little um cotton top with half sleeves and it has the ruffles on the um collar but it's look how huge this top is guys and this was a meat um i got a large i probably should have got the medium or the small so i'm actually gonna take this back i gotta find my target receipt who knows where it could be at, at this point in time i'm hoping it's over there with all my receipts and um i wonder how long do they have a, like a, a length of time before you can return something i need to check that out because i got this stuff in like the beginning of um february again i got i just not have not had time and this stuff has just been sitting around um like i said i've been this is all stuff that i purchased within the last month and a half and i just haven't had time to bring it to the camera um i'll be doing the i'm waiting for one more so this is so crazy the order that i placed from shein before balance times day is not here yet but the order that i placed at the end of the month is here right so i reached out to him and was like hey is my package lost you know it's been almost a month now i've never had to wait that long to get anything and today they responded that i should be receiving a package either monday or tuesday so i've been waiting for that box come and it's so crazy because it's not even a lot of clothes it's more so jewelry and i've purchased um a couple of baseball caps this is one of the hats that i purchased and i will show it in the hall for when i go to the gym so i purchased like a couple of hats and some jewelry and only like a few pieces of clothes within that first order and i don't know it's been taking forever to come so i'm just waiting for that stuff to come and um then i'll do the Shein haul and I will be doing the makeup haul <sighs> I, I gotta do it soon because I need to just start packing 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 um another thing is put all of that stuff there before I can hang it up another thing guys I have been obsessed with um false nails and when I say obsessed look at all of these boxes of nails and this is not all of them this is not all of them I gotta stop So, I'm addicted to these things now because they're so cheap and then you're like, oh, give me this one, give me that one, give me this one. I, I'm, uh, I'm putting a freeze. I'm not purchasing anything into me and Mr. Taylor figure out what we move into. And, um, yeah, that's because I don't, I don't want to have to be packing extra stuff that to move with. So, it's bad enough I got all of this, all of these shoes and stuff like that and that's like my biggest fear is that we're not going to find a place that's going to be spacious enough for me to take all my stuff. Every time I pick that cup up, it just me. Maybe if I hold my nose, I can. Let me see. Let me see. Oh my gosh. I can't drink it, guys. I can't. Ugh, don't buy that. Um, don't buy that stuff. Don't buy it. It's, it's supposed to. I guess it's maybe it's because it's supposed to be like a beer. I don't know. It stink. It stink. All right. Let me say pray for me, guys. I, I got to work myself up. I'm so scared to drink it. Oh, gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. I took a sip. I'm pulling it out. I can't do it. Who can I give that um, case to? I got a whole case. That case was $15. I can't pour all those cans down the zinc. Who can I give it? I, I gotta figure. I'm gonna see if somebody. I gotta figure out if somebody may like that. Maybe if I. I don't know. I don't even. I feel like I can't even get that to my enemy. It's just. I gotta figure out what to do with that. Because I don't want to waste 15 bucks. And I wouldn't even give it to my puppy. That's how disgusting it smells. <sighs> Alright. I've been rambling. Talk to you guys soon.
good morning guys and happy saturday so i am up i put some dishes in the dishwasher because i did not clean the kitchen last night i actually when i got off the um camera with you guys i went right to sleep i was tired but i'm about to make me some breakfast it is 9 30 in the morning um and i am eating the catalina crunch so you only get this little teeny this cereal is so good the next time this is my third bag of buying this i want to try the other brand that they have um at the store it's so expensive for this little teeny bag it's like seven dollars you guys know i get on here all the time and i talk about how it's so expensive to eat healthy but i really like it and um i've been eating it for the last two months now um like i said this is my third bag because i've just been craving cereal and i haven't had cereal in forever so i, I always use a measuring cup you know you want to make sure you eating the right amount and you're not overeating so i do one cup um this is actually it says it's 110 calories for a half a cup so i'm doing two uh, um, a full cup which will be 220 calories um that's 28 carbs but it has 18 um fibers so that means that the net carb is 10 for um one cup so it's very so if you're trying to count your macros you probably went over for your breakfast and lunch but i only eat it like once a week so So I just do a full cup. And guys, when you trying to um, watch your calories, measuring cups are your best friend. Like, I use these every day. They are your best friend. As far as my milk, guys, you know I do the almond milk and this is the um, unsweetened vanilla. 30 calories and um this is 30 calories for one cup i'm not doing a whole cup i'm only doing i'm not a huge milk drinker so i'm only doing one fourth cup which will be probably like 20 calories all right let me wash these off so i can use them for my next meal Kelly, when I finish eating, I'll take you for a walk. Okay, so um, put my milk away and I'll be right back. So guys, drop down in the um, comments and let me know if you had um, any of the Catalina Crunch cereal. And um, if you like it. And if you haven't, what type of cereal do you eat that's more... Um, I'm not going to say keto friendly but more um, calorie conscious friendly because I do um, Target have a couple of brands Target have a couple of brands that um, are keto friendly that's made with like almond flour they're pretty okay I, I like the chocolate one better than the cinnamon one and it's cheaper I think that one is only like three dollars a box so let me know which one you guys like let me finish eating so i took your girl out for a walk and apparently she wasn't finished walking because she got back out the gate after i took the leash off of her and i had to chase her down and broke one of my nails off so i'm gonna glue it back on because these need to last me until probably like tomorrow then i'll do a fresh set so i don't even know if i'm i'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back on just for today after all of that now she look tired her out me chasing her so i'm gonna sit here i have all my receipts i'm about to uh, scan my receipts see if i can find that target receipt in the midst of all of these um scan my receipts on fetch rewards i don't know if you guys are using it if you're not i'm gonna leave my code down below um check it out all you do is scan receipts and you get points and um get gift cards i've gotten gift cards for um restaurants amazons are always my favorite gift cards i get them a lot and i'm about to have enough points so i can get me a 10 dollar um amazon gift card so i'm just get these in scan that and get that gift card and then i, I have another one that i use too that i already got a 10 dollar gift card and i'll be getting that free money be getting that free stuff off of amazon but you can use it everywhere my other um reward uh program 
I'll tell you what it's called. That one you just get points by walking inside of a store. That one is called Shopkick. I usually use the Shopkick to get my gift cards for Sephora and I use the Fetch Rewards and get gift cards for Amazon. So that's how I do mine. And it's a two in one because when I walk into a store, I get um, rewards for um, Shopkick. And then once I purchase something, I use the receipt and get rewards for Fresh Rewards. Guys, how you gotta do it? That's how you gotta do it. So I'll leave both of those links um, down below. If you use my code, you'll get 200 points and I will get 200 points. So we helping each other out. So yeah, so make sure you use my um, code if you are, are not already signed up. So my battery is about to die. So let me change this battery, scan some um, rewards, scan these receipts so I can get rid of the ones that are not needed. And um, let me know guys, do you keep receipts? So um, I keep all receipts for clothes and um of course for like my makeup and stuff like that um and let me know how long do you keep your receipts i have a receipt bag um the only receipts i don't keep is like market receipts and stuff like that because i know i'm not taking any of that stuff back or i'm not going to need it for anything in the future so um but i do keep all receipts so hey guys happy sunday so i am actually outside with kelly letting her run around for a little bit because she's going to be in a house for a few hours by herself um me and mr taylor are going to have a little bit of i guess a date day we're not really doing anything particular we have to um run to we're going to first and foremost go get something to eat he just woke up at 12 o'clock you guys know he worked a night shift so he comes home he gets in the house like around seven o'clock and he gets right in the bed so he just woke up so we're gonna go get something to eat and then we need to run to um walmart to take this present back that we bought for our grandson because his mom already bought him the same thing so we have to um we're gonna exchange it and get him something else um then he wants to go and try to see if he can find some work clothes and we're just going to spend a day together just hang out i mean we don't have that much time because again he needs to come home and kind of get at least an hour or two of sleep before he have to start his night shift but um yeah i just got on my shirt that i picked up from target um it's rainy it was raining this morning so it's a little muddy outside the temperature says it's going to get a little bit hot i just got on some sweatpants and this shirt i'm gonna put on my crop jean jacket and um you know my baseball hat that's what it is today i'm not doing anything like dressy or nothing like that um i think what i'm gonna do when i come home is try to <sighs> guys i have so much to pack it's so crazy because i don't know where to start and i literally have a month to pack my whole house and it's freaking me out because i just need to start i just did the kitchen the basics like the um tupperware and stuff like that but what i'm going to do is go through my cups my glass and figure out what i'm going to uh i guess donate to the goodwill um because i have a lot of glassware this is cups and you know glasses and stuff like that that i picked up i've been here for six years and i'm just not going to take everything with me just because i just don't want to have to deal with a whole bunch of boxes and um stuff like that even though we're probably going to hire a moving company but we still got to pack this stuff up um i feel like my closet is going to be the last thing that i pack up just because yeah it's just uh, i'm freaking out um my son has to get his stuff packed i talked to him yesterday he came home um this is the weekend that he has to do his first initial training for basic training so he was away i saw him yesterday for one hour he basically came home he told me where he's being deployed to he's going to be in oklahoma and then he bounced again um but he leaves next week we move mid middle of next month so i told him he needs to get his room packed right we need to get some box for him so he can just start packing his stuff up so it'll be already packed and all we got to do is just move it because i don't want to pack his stuff i already got to pack the rest of the day going house so yeah guys so pray for me because i am stressed out i'm stressed out stressed out stressed out one we don't know where we're moving two we have a month to move yes so it's just a lot um Hopefully we'll have um, an idea of where we're moving tomorrow. Tomorrow we will 
make our decision it's between three different properties and tomorrow is the decision day so um yeah so yeah so kelly is just outside exploring the backyard you know just stretching getting a little play out before she be in the house um for the rest of the afternoon she's going to the restroom but yep yeah, that's that's basically what we're doing miss telly is getting dressed and um so just wanted to do a quick check-in i think i'm gonna take you guys along with us we're not going anywhere fancy to eat if anything he's going to want some pancakes because that's what he like you guys know i do not eat pancakes so i'm not a syrup person so pancakes and waffles that's not my thing i don't eat it but guys i made a a large purchase and now i'm having kind of buyer's remorse and um mr taylor told me that i need to get out of that mindset because i work hard and i deserve to treat myself every now and then but i don't know let me know if you are the type of person that buy big purchases and then feel gets feel guilty about buying big purchases because you may think oh i could have saved that money or used it for something else because that's how i feel and um i don't know i don't know so i'm having a little bit of anxiety about it the item come on tuesday so i'll show it to you guys but i'm having a little bit of anxiety and um mr taylor is looking at me like you deserve to treat yourself every now and then that's just me that's just me i'm more of a saver not a you guys may think that i'm a huge spender but i'm really not i am a couponer and i am a huge saver mr taylor is more so the spender and he is an impulse buyer i want to check all the deals before i purchase something um because i want to get it as the cheapest prices ever that's why i always tell you guys about like coupons like the fetch me and all of that type of stuff retail me not and i do all of that because that's just me i want to save as much coin as possible that's why i do my big shopping at sephora at the vip sale because i get to save 20 percent and stuff like that but um yeah so let me stop rambling i'm about to get her back in this house and then um get my jean jacket on you see her she's just doing her parameter making sure it's no squirrels or anything in the backyard that she can chase and um I'll pick you guys up once we get on the road. Hey fam, it's me and Mr. Taylor. He decided that he wanted to take the big boy out today. So we're just cruising and enjoying this afternoon. Um, I guess we're gonna go to IHOP. That's where you're going? Yeah. Cause I knew he was going on pancakes this morning, so yeah. Um, yeah, so we just cruising. I'm not going to be on here too long because he got the music playing. How you doing today? You talking to me? <laughs> I, I, nobody else in here with me. I'm just talking to the people out there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing great. How about you? I'm good. My baby. I love that beard, guys. So yeah, we just want to enjoy this nice weather. It um, actually turned out to be really nice. Um, I told you guys it was um, raining this morning, but now it is 60 degrees, which is crazy because it's supposed to be cold again in two days, correct? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I think they said it's about to be a- um, One more day of 70, 70, 74 degrees, something like that. Yeah, he said one more day of nice weather and then we are supposed to have like a wintery mix. I'm so over this weather spring need to hurry up and get here that's my season he's a winter person y'all can have that um, i'm not a winter person but i am a spring summer um person because guys i don't know well you got if you if you're new to my channel then you don't know but i am anemic so i'm always cold um so i'm not a winter person because it's just it makes my bones hurt. just ugh. i can't stand it um sometimes even in the summertime Mr. Taylor, no, I walk around the house with sweaters and sweatpants on in my line because I'm still cold in the summertime. And I always be like, I like to go outside because I need the heat, the sun to warm my body up. What you call me? Like you're an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> you always say I'm a damn alligator because I need to lay in the sun to warm my body up because I just cannot deal with the cold. Like, I love the summertime. I love the heat. It just makes me feel so good because, you know, my blood nonetheless um this winter stuff is not for me 
It's not. Um, what am I like all that heat? He he wants to be in the cold. I just can't. I I guess if I wasn't anemic, I would feel a certain another way. But I just it it doesn't. My body don't agree with the winter, so that's just me. So strange. He, he says I'm a um I'm a I'm a lizard. He always said I'm a reptile, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Give me give me the heat. Give me the heat. I need the heat. Other than. And this is a debate that we have. Now, the only time I don't want the heat is when we in California. No. I can't deal with this summertime in LA. I can't deal with it. And he always said I'm over dramatic about it, but it, that's not for me. It's not for me. So I'll pick you guys up when we do a little bit of shopping or whatever we do. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, so we are walking around in the coals. And um, of course, you know me and Mr. Taylor being safe, so we got on our mess. I had to do a return at the um, Amazon return. And this Caucasian lady in front of me, she busts out coughing in front of the black man who taking the return. She coughed like three to four times. Coughing, 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 no mask on. He got hand sanitizer right on the never put hand sanitizer on her hand nothing like that i'm like that's so disgusting that's exactly the reason why i got my mask on i backed up i backed all the way up just kept coughing in front of this man disgusting like seriously lady nope hand sanitizer all over the place never once did she put hand sanitizer on her hands disgusting hmm. so anyway we still haven't went and got no food yet, so I need to feed Mr. Taylor. But um, are we gonna run to Michael's real quick? He said he need to eat. I can go to Michael's another day. You know I love Michael's. I gotta get my crafts. I got things to do. Oh, I just um got a cricket, so I want to get some materials and stuff for my cricket. So that's why I wanted to go to um Michael's, but. Like he said, we can go another day. It's, um, oh my goodness, it's about to be 2 o'clock. He need to eat. He haven't ate all day long. So we about to get some food. And I don't know what else we're going to do. But, yeah. I just had to tell y'all about that lady. Nasty lady up in the daggone coals. I don't know why people think this pandemic is over with. It still spikes. Different strains. And... I'm not here for it. Where am I going at? I'm thinking we got the um, SVU and we got the daggone car. I'm looking for the daggone black car. Um. So yeah, I'm going to go feed my baby. You're going to feed me, I feed myself. Oh, okay, good. Good to know that. Can you feed me while you at it? No. <laughs> My face is so dry. I don't know why you do that. You know, people do not care about what the hell you do. I got a breakfast burrito. Even though it's lunchtime, this bump is going kill me. And Mr. Taylor had to get his stack. Like I knew he would. So it's crowded in here, so I'm about to put the camera up. So guys, I ate half of my burrito. Mr. Taylor said he's not taking me out to eat anymore. Because why? Because you don't eat all your food. I gotta talk to you like you're a kid. But um I feel like I don't know if it Shut it up. So I don't know if it's the salsa or what, but I felt like um, I got indigestion. So I don't know if it was the salsa that I used or it could have been the fruit because I had a fruit um, salad and, you know, pineapples and stuff. Maybe it was the acidic, but um, yeah, my stomach was like, but I ate half of it. So that was good. 
So now we're about to head to the mall and just um, browse around. Hopefully my stomach will be a little bit better in the next two hours because we wanted to have a, um, a ice cream date and I want to get me some sugar. We're not getting no ice cream. <laughs> we, not, we can't have ice cream now? No. I'm getting some ice cream. Well, I don't eat ice cream. I get um, sherbet or yogurt, but nonetheless, um, we wanted to go and get some ice cream. All right, so I'll check in when we get to the mall, whichever one we're going to. Um, and I think that's all we're going to do today because it's already 3, 10, and it says that it's going to start raining again around 5. So we want to get in the house before then. Um, all right, guys. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later. Mr. Tell is asleep. I gotta wake him up in two hours um, so he can get prepared for work. But um, I don't know. I, well, I guess I do know. I guess because it's semi tax season, the mall was super duper crowded. So we did wind up going to um, H&M. Because he wanted to pick up a hoodie. And he got a um, blazer for work. But um, I went over to Forever 21. Because they was having a sale. Buy one get one free. It was super duper packed in it. It was outrageous packed. So I didn't get um, a lot of stuff. I really didn't get anything. I got two hats. Y'all know I'm addicted to hats. So I'm going to show you guys my hats. They are so cute. I do not have any hats this color. So that's why I got these two. So I got this taupe, I got this taupe color, it's really light, it got speckles of brown, girl get out of here, so I'm going to show you, so pretty, so freaking, no you did not, and then I got this cute um, salmon color one, right here, and then it has the gold rhinestones, another one that's really really beautiful. I actually think I want to wear this one to work tomorrow. Um, I got to figure out what I'm wearing. But yeah, I got these two because I don't own any this color. Y'all know I got a lot of hats for doors anyway. Let me just put them back in the bag. Um, so again, their clothes, their stuff was buy one, get one free. So... I only picked up three pieces. Kelly, it's nothing in here for you. Girl, she got to smell everything. I got this pretty uh, checkerboard dress. Now, okay. Oh, maybe I can wear this with my the toe pad. So, let me back up so you can see this dress. Get down. Thank you. This is the dress. I think this is so freaking cute. It's, you can't, let me turn this light out. Let me see if you can see better. Let me see if that's a little bit better. It's kind of orange. Um, it's not. It's not. It's coming off. But it is. It's kind of orange, guys. It's like a mauve. But I just thought it was so freaking cute with the button detail and the um little ridge. It was on sale for 15 bucks, so half price. And I got a large. Um, then I just got uh, two cropped. Um, hoodie shirts got a white one these ones were nine dollars i got these in a medium 25 they were on sale for nine so the crop hoodies i got this white and then i got this blue and again i got these in mediums i probably could have got them in a the small because they are they look huge look how wide that is so I probably should have got these in a small, but nonetheless. But because it was buy one, get one free, again, it was so crowded. And it was like like a consignment store where so many people was picking over stuff. The racks was super stuffed with clothes. People was picking over stuff was on the floor. It was just too much. I could not stay in there. So for my fourth item, I just got this little paddle brush, which I needed one anyway. I needed a new one. And this one just have a little glitter in the handle. So this was, and it's like a metallic pink. 
So I got one of the sweatshirts free in this brush, basically. So that's all I got from Forever 21. I told you guys I wasn't doing no major shopping. Um, Robert was just looking for um, a blazer, which he got. And that was it. Now he's asleep. I'm kind of semi-hungry. I'm not really hungry um, since I ate that burrito, but I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm sitting here eating Doritos and um, Kelly is being nosy. So I'm really thinking I'm going to wear this tomorrow, but I got to see what the temperature going to be like before I decide. And y'all know I should not be buying any clothes because again, I need, I'm going to be moving next month and this is just adding to more stuff that I got to pack up. And y'all know I ordered all of those damn clothes from Shein in February before my landlord told told us that before my landlord told us that he was selling the property, I had ordered clothes that still haven't came yet. It's been almost a month, so I'm hoping that they be here tomorrow and I can show you guys that haul. Why are you being unwinding? And you look like you're sleepy. She just be wanting attention. She, anytime I'm start, I start talking to y'all, she like, um, you're not talking to me. And she just want attention. And you ain't even speak to the peoples. But you know what? It, I'm going to go ahead and give you a bath while, before daddy wake up. How about that? You want to take your bath? Bath time? You want to do your bath now or you want to wait? Oh, you said you want to take a nap. You sleepy? Okay, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and give her a bath before my husband get up. Since he, he got, I got two hours before he wake up. I can give her a bath and blow dry her. And get the bathroom clean before it's time for him to wake up to get ready for work. So let's do that. And I'll be back guys. Say bye bye. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys soon. Too up. So guys, as you see, Kelly loves getting in the tub, but she hates being um, blow dried. She's afraid of the blow dry. I don't um, blow dry her completely dry. I just do her neck area and her um, face and her ears because I don't want her to get an infection or get um, sick when she go outside in the night air. I usually let her um, air dry. I do semi blow dry her body but not as much I, I mainly focus on her neck her face and her ears um just because i don't want her to get sick but she hates the blow dryer um she's 90 percent dry in the face area her neck is semi wet but she 90 percent dry so she should be good um i'm wet soaking wet but it's okay i need to go clean the bathroom now um yeah i got an hour until I have to wake Mr. Taylor up. So yes, it took me that long to wash her and blow dry her. So do that. Then I'm going to go downstairs and make me some tea. Come here, Kelly. Let me put your um collar back on. And I just ordered her some new collars because this one is kind of old and it's getting worn out. So hey fam. So um, I just wanted to jump on real quick because... I am about to come on you coming up I'm about to do my nails for um, this week for work and I wanted to show you guys my nails I got these nails from off of Amazon if I'm not mistaken um, the ones I'm using this week they were really cheap I don't think they were more than ten dollars but let me just open up the box this is what they look like let me Okay, so these are the nails. And 
of course it comes with a little file and um that's cool and another little this is like a little pick and it's kind of like acrylic that's cool but then it has like these little um the little sticky gel pads i don't never use this stuff um and it has a cuticle stick in here which i will use and a teeny teeny file but this is what i'm talking about these are little gel um stickies i don't use these so first thing first i am going to buff my nails because i just took the other ones off so make sure i don't have any dried up um glue or anything on my nails i'm just going to buff them so usually i use my own file but i just want to use the one that they gave me i'm working a little bit backwards i'm just going to make sure that um my nails are cut down So I'm just going to file that, make sure it's not super sharp, just to buff it. Okay guys, so the next thing I usually do is lay my nails out so I can know which ones I'm using. And I'll show you how I lay them out and what I'm doing for, to, for this week. So this is how I lay them out in the order that I am going to put them on my hand. And the next part, it usually takes me about quick three minutes to go ahead and glue them down. I use crazy glue. I don't use like the regular um, little nail glue because I want them to stay on long. I do wash dishes and things like that. So, and I wash my hands a lot. So that other glue that actually come with the nails, I feel like um, it's not super strong and your nail will pop off. So I use for real crazy glue and that's what I use on my nails. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do it. And I just put it, the glue all over the nail, my nail bed. Get it nice and coated. I took the nail and I slide it up into the cuticle and then I hold it down. Just that quick. So let me finish these and I'll be back. Okay guys, so here is the finished look to my nails. So yep, didn't take me long at all. Quick and easy. Um, I am about to, you know what, I'm gonna wash my face first so I can show you guys how um, I do this. We're gonna start that back up tonight. And um, so give me one second and let me get myself together and do that. And I do have my tea, I'm just sipping on it. Um, I need to finish it before tonight, before I get into bed, so. Do you leave your tea bags in your tea or do you take them out? Um, let me go give Mr. Taylor a bottle of water since he just got up and I want him to get hydrated. So I bought this up for him. So let me go give this to him and I'll be back. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with the, um, the brightening dark spot um, AHA polish. And this one, it says um, put using a circular motion for one to two minutes and it says leave on skin for up to five minutes so I literally only take a little bit put right there I'm gonna put there I'm gonna put it here um I don't really do my forehead but so those three and I'm going to rub them in and massage it in like that I just put it on the spots that I have a hyperpigmentation. That's it. I 
Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes and then I'll wash this off and um, then we'll put the treatment on and finish our face. So yeah, so I just let it sit like that, let it dry out, and I only put it on those three areas, just the parameter of my face where my breakouts are. So this is my third time using it. Now I told you I used it twice before and I seen some improvement. So I wanna really, really use it today Sunday, Tuesday, and then Thursday. So three times this week, that's the goal. Okay. So I'll be right back. So I just rinsed that off my face and I washed, um, just did a quick rinse with some soap just to make sure I got all of that, um, I guess the medicine, the serum that's in it off because I don't want my skin to burn. And I told you before, I did have a little bit of um, burning sensation from this. So this is the, the retinal repair dog spot treatment. Now for this one, it does states to, uh, um, it says at the cleaning, apply to the full face area. I'm not going to put this on my full face because I, again, I told you guys my skin peeled like crazy last week. So I'm only going to put this again, a little bit on the hyperpigmentation. I'm not putting this cross my whole face and this one again says um two to three times a week to target sp specific dark spots and that's exactly what i wanted to do so i'm only going to do my targeted area And um, yeah, so that's how I put this on. And um, I'll show you guys my face. Probably by Wednesday, you're gonna start seeing peeling. Um, I'm about to finish, and I'm just making sure I rub it in all the way. I'm about to put my rest of my um, nighttime skincare. I'm not gonna do that on camera because I've done it multiple times. So you guys know I use the same thing. I use um, the ordinary um skincare line i have multiple videos um vlogs on that i will link some down below uh, if you just want to check out the routine nothing has changed and i'm about to watch um candy in the game because that is on so i'll talk to you guys in the morning when i figure out when i'm going to work talk to you soon bye